As a result of the delimitation work between Azerbaijan and Armenia, a 12.7-kilometer-long border line was determined, reads a press release of Office of Deputy Prime Minister of the Republic of Azerbaijan Shaheen Mustafayev. As a result of the delimitation work, a 12.7-kilometers-long border line was determined, and thus, the territories of four villages of the Gazak district of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Baganis Ayrim, Ashagi Askipra, Kirimli and Gizil Hajili were returned to Azerbaijan, the information said. The ninth meeting of the State Commission on the Delimitation of the State Border between the Republic of Azerbaijan and the Republic of Armenia was held on the border between the two countries on May 15, 2024. The meeting was chaired by Deputy Prime Minister of Azerbaijan Shaheen Mustafayev and Deputy Prime Minister of Armenia Mir Grigorian. The Commission agreed on a jointly compiled protocol description of sections of the borderline between the settlements of Baganis Ayrim, Ashagi Askipra, Kirimli, and Gizil Hajili. Following the discussions, the relevant minutes were signed by both parties. The date and venue for the next meeting will be determined through working order communication. Deputy of Azerbaijan Parliament Azai Giliev said that the liberation of the villages of Baganis Ayrim, Ashagi Askipra, Kirimli and Gizil Hajili of Gazak region from occupation is the next historical success in the direction of ensuring the sovereignty of Azerbaijan. According to him, it is appropriate to recall the views expressed by President Ilham Aliyev in an interview with local television channels on January 10 against the background of the return of the historical lands of Azerbaijan. During the interview, the head of state stated that those villages that are not enclaves, for villages, should be returned to Azerbaijan unconditionally, that is our position. Today, the transfer of the mentioned four villages to Azerbaijan is the result of the strong political will of the head of the country. The Russian authorities have arrested Vadim Shamarin, the head of the country's main directorate of communications, for alleged involvement in a bribery case, officials have told Russian media. Shamarin, who is also the deputy to the chief of the general staff, is the fourth senior Russian defense official said to have been arrested in criminal cases in April and May. An official with the 235th Garrison Military Court said on Thursday, as quoted by several Russian media outlets, that Lt. Gen. Shamarin is suspected of receiving an especially large bribe. If found guilty, the official faces up to 15 years in prison. The 53-year-old general has served as the head of Russia's main directorate of communications since 2021. He is also a deputy to the chief of the general staff, Valery Gerasimov. The court official said, as quoted by RBK, that Shamarin was detained for two months on Wednesday. Commerson reported, citing sources, that the Russian authorities had conducted a search as part of a bribery case, adding that the lieutenant general had been taken in for questioning to the main military investigative office of Russia's investigative committee. Over the past night, Russian air defense systems shot down 35 Vampire and Alder MLRS shells, as well as three drones in the sky over the Belgorod region, the press service of the Russian Ministry of Defense reported. Over the past night, an attempt by the Kiev regime to carry out a terrorist attack using the Vilka multiple launch rocket system, the Vampire multiple launch rocket system and an aircraft type UAV on targets on the territory of the Russian Federation was stopped. The air defense systems on duty were three Vilka MLRS rockets, 32 Vampire MLRS rockets and three UAVs were destroyed over the territory of the Belgorod region, the report says. Let us remind you that Ukrainian troops regularly shell and attack in various ways, including through UAVs, the border regions of the Russian Federation, in particular the Belgorod, Bryansk, Kursk and Voronezh regions. Earlier, the governor of the Belgorod region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, reported that the territories of two children's camps were damaged by the strike of Ukrainian militants. According to preliminary data, no victims. The day before, in Graveron, Belgorod region, a kamikaze drone attacked a car at a gas station, a gas station employee was injured. 
Also, as a result of the attack on the village of Belenkoi in the Belgorod region, one was killed and another was injured. In addition, due to an attack by a Ukrainian drone on an electric train, the movement of commuter trains was stopped.